air signs this is part two of your reading for december i'm so sorry for that hope you you know give me some time to get this uh this reading done because i have literally waited two days to do this reading again okay so let's get going air signs you know you've been waiting for this reading so let's go part two all right you know um if you didn't, if you didn't watch the part that i was talking about the trust the universe Take a reality check, break, think it through, and embrace the flow of life. You need to watch part one, okay? Watch part one. Um, part one explains all this. I don't know where that came from, but I guess it's a song from someone. Uh 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. I think that's stuff on me. She's a Libra. Okay. Uh, let's go. Give me some cards from my ear signs for the month of December. What do my ear signs need to know for the month of December? Ooh. -hoo! Lovely. I love it. One more. One more. One more. One more. Please. I'm feeling so lucky. I'm feeling so lucky. I love it. I love it. Ooh, focus okay let's go i love it why am i so hyped because you know it says december you know we got it like that um moon set releasing okay when it comes down to, when it comes to embracing the flow of life embrace embracing 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 looking forward looking towards getting over right the old past whatever that could be and, and feel fulfilling your moment right fulfilling those steps is getting to release those things right for what caused you to go down what caused you to feel broken up or whatever you know let me say something whatever you go through uh people don't allow that to you know subscribe you to check off like i'm done i'm done with life right i'm done with this don't give up don't quit continue it gets hard it gets difficult it's all right Things will resurface back up, but don't allow it because I don't know retrograde is coming up. I believe I did say that in the last one. I said the retrograde is here. If For me, it feels like it's coming. Like I feel it like right now, but I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like mine's just, I feel it coming right, like right around the corner. So December 12th, I found out it's when the retrograde starts. Uh, and like I said, it ends, you know, in January. So it's about releasing releasing that releasing that mindset releasing that uh feeling like you have to have a status quo feeling that you have to have a particular thing going on with you and it's not happening so i'm done i'm i'm, I'm over it i'm lost i'm gone like no don't do that to yourself ladies and gents because we've all been through this before i'm your next door neighbor tarot carpet you could just come knock on my door and i read you i read you i read you real quick i'll let you know check yourself out the door be be ready be ready be steady right energy flows where energy goes and that could be like well if you're gonna go with any anywhere you want to go in your life don't allow yourself to be hitting at a point of like oh man i don't think i'm deserving oh i don't mean i don't think i'm i'm required and quite and i don't think i'm required to have this job i don't think i should stay at this you know position in my life because i don't feel fulfilled in my other parts of my life my social life whatever you know get out of that rut get out of that you know releasing that you know releasing uh, the, the 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 disorder uh men right disorder release that satan has said to you uh you know i got your back because satan does have everybody's back right when you need it because when we think about it when we are in this place of you know darkness not saying this darkness means bad but darkness meaning like you're closed off and to the point where you you know you're just not trying to do anything that's what i mean by darkness because darkness could be also be like you just need solitude <laughs> you know what i'm saying but if you're like in that place in that type of space and you know say and whoever you call whatever you call it's like the demons whatever and you're like in that part where you're like oh this is only this this is i could do i could do things on demon time i could do things i don't know why i'm saying this but no like expose the demons expose the devils and let them know like no more i don't want this in, in my in my face i don't want this in my around me i don't want this in my mind i want to change that i want to start connecting the dots where i deserve it all right um it's important to do that it's important to do so because if we don't solidify 
our life our life now as we get older it gets harder so solidify yourself as you're a young child if you're a young teenager watch me hope you're 18 and up hope you're 18 and up once again uh you know solidify your moments in life take back your you know take back whatever that means but i mean in a prideful way in a good way and not in a derogatory way not in a meaningful and a as uh, you know spiteful way that's vindictive and you know um I won't say uh, collaborative, but, um, you know, that is disgusting, right? Don't do that. But release it. Release anything that has been giving you tensions, been giving you uh, pushbacks and, uh, you know, those other unfiable, valuable things that people want you to be, places that they want you to place you in, right? Uh, because what happens is once you start thinking, um, you start embracing the flow of life, because, you know, life is going to have its hiccups. Life is going to have its roadblocks. When we start seeing those roadblocks for what it is, for as lesson plans or lessons that we need to learn and experience, we start to gather, um, you know, air signs. This is for my Aquarius, says Libras, and Gemini's. We start looking at it like, oh, wow, this is not the best of me. This is the worst of me, but the worst of me could be the best of me because I'm learning from it. So uh, understand that, you know, because some people might not see it your way, not know what you're not, not know where your angle's at. Doesn't mean that you should never be at the table. You should never be at the chair. You should never be at the meeting. You should never be at your friend house or whatever, whatever that could be. And you should never be with a man or a woman or both whatever because of this particular situation or this particular place made you feel a certain way or how you may present yourself right so maybe you're presenting yourself this way but you feel that way about yourself and maybe you inner you need to work on your inner you i mean i have been exposed to where i'm doing a whole lot of healing that you know from the time that i you know had a big blessing and this big blessing was so much i i you know one thing I didn't do is fumble. You know, that blessing was not for me to be fumbling. Uh, I did take it an initiative to understand the, necess the necessities of 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 my journey. Like I'm, a, like I was journeying, journaling my life by just going through a lot of you know turns and twists. So, air signs. The only thing I'm just saying is. Your turns and twists doesn't define you at, and define your future. That's all I'm saying, okay? Uh, moving on. Now, once you start releasing and you start saying, you know what, thinking it through everything that you're doing, right? You're starting to see abundance, clear abundance, a pathway that's reaching for, reaching out to you. Come get me. Come come gather up. Get your, bring your, bring your, you know, all your items, your resources, you know, whatever the ideas that you have, bring it over here, right? You never know. And that could like collaborate a lot of new, uh, formative, um, you know, positions in your life, you know, internally, externally, whatever that looks like. Abundance is clearly, it doesn't have to be money, but it could just be you in a new way, and you, you in a new form, you in a, a particular place, you in a transformation and abundance could also be like if you know in a figurative moment in in your life where you start seeing yourself being flourished in certain areas in your life that you have never seen before so it's a good sign in the month of december i love this too love you know love comes in a lot of ways you know it comes in a lot of ways you know what i'm saying but i mean like it comes in like different places and areas where you know no like maybe you have found no love in this particular uh, relationship but you found love somewhere else or you found love with your within yourself and this could be like maybe you found love with a person you never thought you would be love with love with but you love them right and vice versa with them they never felt like they love you and maybe and say the downfall about love is that there's no love around you besides you right and that means look into yourself find love within your kids find love with your, with your with the people around you find love the the, the spirit that's giving you right because you have everything that you you destined to have you know sometimes you ask for more and more and more but sometimes you need to be grateful and be and be grateful and patient with what you have already and and patience can keep you know we can say patience but what does that look like right patience means to wait and and until your turn when spirit said okay and ancestors your spirit got said oh, it's your turn now oh yeah you've been you know you've been doing your due diligence now you've been doing your you know your work and your job so great as um you know as someone that's learning from me and then you're doing that right so it's it's wherever love goes 
your situation goes doesn't mean you don't have it right maybe you have a crush maybe someone that loves you and wants you back whatever and not saying you should go back because mercury, mercury retrograde mercury retrograde does get you know we in the swing you know we in this um i forgot the word but it's like a I say this rapture, right? Rapture of new old messages, ideas, and memories that come up, and people will come up and say, "Hey, you know, what about us? What about us? How can we take it, right?" And a reality check can hit you. Like, wait, how do you get my number? How do we even get to this point? I mean, I mean, I mean, we make no mistakes. You know, we might say we make mistakes, but we make we make things we we make things come true, and we might feel like it, the things that we make come true can fall into the mistakes but the mistakes are like some type of like regrets and there's no regrets right you literally have no regrets regrets don't feel like you did something wrong this is i feel like mercury retrograde is more like make mistakes now than the new year because after that after after january whatever that uh, i think they said the first but i have to figure it out after the mercury retrograde and you continue on doing it you're not learning from your lessons so you make your little you know one two three uh you know pauses and stops and you know have fun a little bit okay maybe it's a capricorn or virgo taurus or maybe not but if it's if it's gonna be taken away or if you if you are being distracted within your love life or being distracted within someone's giving you the bloom you know the blossoms of of stories and what they can do to you how they can maneuver with you and how they can grow with you you know that's what they they probably would want you to hear because they want something from you vice versa right maybe you tell this person that right but the reality check is it going to be for a very long time and can you see yourself really actually flourishing with this person and you really see yourself actually doing what it's supposed to be done so together uh and maybe is it supposed to be done right so wherever you are at in this love life and love angle this is for you uh but like i said this is for all the air signs but if you don't have uh if you're not a gemini or a libra or aquarius you might have this in your you know moon might have this in your rising jupiter venus saturn it doesn't matter right it doesn't have to be your sun sign but anyway all y'all folks are welcome in okay i'm not here to discriminate moving on uh the focus i have took this out from the bottom i don't know why i didn't take the one from the top but the top mm -hmm, support you have focus to, to, to think about support on you supporting yourself support is coming but support will only come if you focus so you know you're focused you're gonna get the support so trust the universe right trust in the universe more, more while you're taking those baby steps while you're taking those little micro miniature, miniature steps it's a reason why right aquarius you know when aquarius does the job they do the job they do, they do their job well they actually like to incorporate people a lot like to uh, you know see what other people's standpoint is and that's a good way of uh, a good quality of Aquarius so like you uh, all signs and you do this uh, for my air signs especially incorporate new things new ideas and new people around uh, and even so you don't have to be like best of friends but you can at least feel you know fill out what's you know what's important um to you and how you can navigate through the through the relationship so that's really great i feel like this reading is giving me so much joy but before i even did it my back is killing me you know what my back is killing me because i haven't stretched i feel like you guys ear signs stretch before you people don't talk about it but stretch like it's really it opens your back out yeah it just opens you up and now oh i feel so good i just cracked my back i just cracked my back I should do um I should do something. Oh, I took these cards out first, but I should do tarot. No. Let's do this. Rebirth. See? We're rebirthing something. Okay. Giving birth to something. If you having if you're giving birth, congratulations. Uh if you're not giving birth and you're adopting, congratulations, doesn't matter. If you are, you know, birthing a new idea, venture, um, um investment congratulations if you rebirthing the old you the new you cut your hair getting in getting your hair done a different hairstyle or um re refocus on your body your health your mind your wellness congratulations that rebirth is here it's all comes in effect when it comes down to um your journey in this december and in, in the december in the month of december in the december ba 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 da 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 Da, da, that's my favorite yo that show used to be my favorite da, 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 da. when the 
when the defendant and the plaintiff, I think, they come in like in the main in the little um, pathway before they hit the ju the front of the judge. They go the da da da, and then the person talk about, oh, she was been convicted with theft because her friend had reported it because their friend had said that she stole from them, and the, the defendant would ever say, hey. She uh the, the dog she was best friends with this plaintiff for ten years until the plaintiff got a new man and a new man cheated on her and she then <laughs> some stuff like that I don't know I love that 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 I love it so maybe you feel like that's how life is where you feel like you're walking down that aisle um about to face judgment you know maybe you feel like this is not you maybe it's somebody else about to face judgment in there in your life because you know not that you just they deserve it or you desire that they should have justice but you feel like things need to be played laid out in front of them because they did something to you they re overreacted they had caused in in this you know this pain or just hurt that they did to you Aquarius is Gemini's and uh, Libras they had uh put you through a, li a little uh, a bit of a tightrope you know and they and and then maybe you have feel like you got to think it through. Think of the relationship. Think of the uh, partnership. Think of the situation. And this could be, you know, it could be just focusing on the, the terms of what was the terms before we got in required. What was the terms the terms with before we actually made this uh you know project or we did this you know fair trade what was the terms because maybe you forgot or maybe they forgot because it's like wait hold on what what the term what a term that what a term that what a term okay okay let's go um so this is my Gemini's believers in okay queries just need to know there's a resolution. I just said that. I just said that. There's a resolution, okay, in everything. It doesn't think, no, don't think that there's no solutions to anything, but there's solutions to all things, okay? Don't think that there's no solutions to anything. There's solutions to all things. I hope I made that. I hope I made that clear. The Boots. Perception. Oh, I love these cards. These are my favorite cards deck, but they're like they're very um, intriguing, and you really have to look between. It's like Beyonce, a little bit. Maybe you are a Virgo when you mess with the Virgo. Maybe you're Virgo. Maybe you're Virgo. Well, who knows? Uh, watching for the uh, air signs. Or maybe you deal with the uh, air sign. But this is a rev resolution. Mm, resolution. I love this. Check it, right? Check it. And this came with the boxes between embrace the flow, think it through, abundance releasing. I love it. 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 Okay, I'm a love it, but I said love it. I do. I, I do. I make a lot. <laughs> I make a lot of words. If anyone needs any words, any logo um, quotes or quotes, call me because I'm good with that. I just made a new word called Lozo and whatever. But whatever I just said, but I just said it. Okay. Uh just play it back, you'll hear it. But anyway, resolution. There's a resolution coming. Like I said, just as there's something that you've been that has been resonating that you've been wanting to, it to like just to freaking come out already. Come out already. Tell me. And it is like it's it's been hiding, but it's been there, but it's been hiding, but it's been there, but you haven't been seeing it because you've been doing you, you know what I'm saying? But what happens with the resolution is that you're now going to see the uh, opportunity that somebody is going to come to you about. Like, hey, like, do you think this is a good idea? Or do you think this is a bad idea? Or do you think whatever? And it's not like you're gossiping, but it's more like what you're facing, which is uh, the, the circumstances of um, of your life. Like, your circumstances of, you know, what, why did this happen? How did this happen? And when did this occur? Let me read this a little bit more because I really like this. One thing about this book, it's like alphabetical. It's in alphabetical order. It's I can find the R like real quick. A B C D. I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, reciprocity. That's my favorite song. Reciprocity is not a song. It's a word. What's wrong with me? Probably it's a song. Oh, maybe there's a song called Reciprocity. So if there's a song, please check, let me know what it is. <clears throat> okay, you think you have won. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you think you have won? What is light without dark? I 
what are you without me? I am part of you all. You can never defeat me. We are brothers eternal. Legend, 1985. When contemplating the myths and stories and tales of fantastical worlds throughout the human zeitgeist, we can see a common theme of resolution. Being found in the slaying of a dragon, the killing of a, killing of a villain, or the death of the antagonist as the means to the end and the way to the happily ever after. Perhaps it would be boring if the realms of fantastic didn't end with a battle scene or final boss. But how much of this programming has found its way into our subconscious minds? How does it affect our outlook on resolution or, or a resolution of extreme from uh, extreme conflict from the metaphorical and personal journey of life? I'm trying to be so like fancy. Just read it. The darkness. I said this. The darkness. The darkness of our ties could often feel like Titan, a, a technical monster with arms that crush the human spirit, a boogeyman that haunts our, our greatest fears, and all consuming nothing, a shadow looming, clowning, hope for the fear. I said this. Like the darkness is around us, but it's up to us to be the light or uh, or embrace the darkness. 11, 11, embrace that. Like you know, Gemini's, Libra's, Aquarius says, embrace what you have been going through. Embrace of what you was worried about. You know, I was listening to, I was listening to Andre 3000 and what made me really like happy for him as a Gemini, as happy as it is not, is that we over critic criticize ourselves at a point where we're like, oh my God, I can't do it. I don't want to say it. People got to think, but, and he brought out that album. I'm not a big fan of his album not yet at least because i don't really um <clears throat> i don't really jump on new albums like like i used to because you know i just don't um but over time i've been using his songs for my story so i do have like a little like you know i do like it so andre you go boy uh, you go guy you go man all right so one thing about it is like he embraces that new side of him and this is all about the air signs embracing that new side of him the darkness he felt was probably the fears of overcoming anxiety right the fears of having to have people criticize him before they even criticize him right because remember you're criticizing yourself before anyone criticizes you and I love that about it because the darkness was out of the music. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a half, it doesn't have to be like sounds or it doesn't have to be like words. The sounds are words and the things that he possessed actually, like, it kind of like exuberates the idea of that faith can happen in quietness. Faith can happen while being alone uh faith could happen while you know leaving something uh that you was that was hard for you and embracing what that new is and that new opportunity and what it looks like and growth is what it's about so air signs get that together you got this okay and congratulations on all the air signs that's popping right okay but i didn't shout you out but you know i was giving andre 3000 his heads up i mean con congratulations and those as well because i feel like the resolution is here and the darkness can only swallow you whole and keep you there if you just say oh okay i'm here but if you if you maneuver by just progressing and, and establishing like i have an idea of certain things right i am disclosed it but i started it so things like that things like that will closely like closely get you to getting out of your shell getting you out of the fears okay got you all right how can you how can one even consider something so complex and titanic as the foreshadowing of future time lines yet unseen how could we get to the top of our metaphorical mount doom to defeat uh sharon and jrr tokyo tokyan's book series the lord of the rings i think i said the last name but the i'm sorry jj i mean jr uh, the protagonist hobbyist shows us that no matter how big or small you are, you can still be the hero of your story. Even the smallest form of life has the potential to change everything. Everything has the potential to change. I love that. Let me move on. Similarly, um, at Teru, a young boy saved Fantasia and Michael's and Dee's the never any story. Just as for him, there's no easy answer to uh, to, to the epoch. Epoch, uh, epoch we are trans 
transversing because victory comes not from defeat but from resolu resolution regeneration and a greater relevation and how and externally externally linked every form of life is light and dark are two sides of the same coin cycles may be destined to repeat there and back again instead of slaying our dragons what if we perhaps learn to tame them ride them and guide them it will be found in humanity in dr frankenstein's monster without closing it chasing it without it with the torch resolution is, is is not a defeat but a, in resolve love this resolution resolution not in defeat but in resolve all the power of your imagination to be the element that has the potential to mold shape and guide he what's yet to come here and into the future js the mantra i invoke the power of my imagination as a tool for ultimate manifestation i resolve contrast and contradiction with the understanding understanding that duality is but an illusion of inconnected nature of all conditions i appreciate my shadow and embrace my light i love the i know that love is greater emotion than fear and fright i love that I love that love is greater emotion than fear and fright. And that's what I had said, said about love, you know, loving on ourselves. And that, I mean, we've been saying loving ourselves, what do you mean by that? You know, em embracing the, you know, the extremities of our lifestyles and how we think, you know. Sometimes we get mad at how we think and how we and boast and maybe how we uh, present ourselves. But hating is going to make us feel, you know, you know, that the exact way that Satan and the devil wants you to feel is it's going to be, um, you know, I'm prideful about you and, 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 you know, defeat it. And this is what they're saying. So, you know, service the high up, service who you are, service about, service the high up, service on your spirits, ancestors, and service those that have been here before you and say, look, I love you and you love me. I love you, right? And you make a happy family, right? Something about what Barney's. I mean, you like Barney when you're growing up. I don't know. But think about it is you need to grow up. You need to grow up. Grow up. Grow up. And I guess that's what you're probably saying to yourself and maybe saying to your to other people. But don't be too hard on yourself. Grown up is great, but grown up onto your time, your your um your time, and it's gonna get you where you're gonna be. You know, I never thought that I would be here one day and be someone to present. You know, cars like this and and rhymes like this and I spit like this. Oh, me Mills, like so he's a, a tourist. Anyway. Anyway, I'm just saying your time is here. Your time is to show up and glow up. And that can only be basing off of what you feel that is and how you want it. So you got this, okay? Resolution. I like this. So many, there's so many pointers out here that I can speak upon on, and on, and on, but I'm not going to go on to that. But if you do want a reading from me, by me, the only me, please hit me up. Let me know. Um, email me and DM me, you know, stuff like that. All right, the boat. Rock the boat. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is a true power. Wow. Your boat will sink only by allowing the in water from the outside. Regardless, if any storm on the horizon, unless you allow the waves to fill your boat or create holes within your boat itself, you will rise. Don't misinterpret the weather or waters as anything other than the environment you may be currently sailing through. Sailing through. In time, the tide will settle. The clouds will part and the sun will rise and shine again. Nothing is permanent and nothing is introduced into your life by accident. I just said that. Nothing's by accident. Nothing's a mistake. Not by accident, but nothing's a mistake. We are here to do the things we're supposed to be doing. We're set to do. We're set in these type of in, in these things. And we're set to, to hurt others. We're set to 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 you know showcase you know love and sometimes jealous and sometimes you know whatever that could be. We are set to do these things. You know, we're not we're not all the way perfect where we like we wish we are, but air signs also don't also look at people as the way oh they're perfect as well because some people might think that you're you know you're too perfect you're too you know whatever but you know if someone knows you and know want to know you more they get to know that everything about you is not 100 percent glitz and glam but i'm not saying that glitz and glam means that you're falling you're failing you're breaking no it means that you're not 100 percent as you know because no one's 100 percent. but there's things in your life that you maintain 100 percent. you might be maintaining creativity uh communication skills like that skills could be 100 percent. certain skills could be lack right so not saying that you all you know you get what i'm saying 
But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, push through. Don't want that. Don't. This came between the full capital horn. Don't you know, take a reality check and love and abundance and think it through. Yeah, don't allow the the reality. Um, don't allow some other reality. Uh, to overpower of your um, vision, right? So, I mean, what I'm saying is like the reality is there, but don't overdo it. Don't overlook. Don't overlook. Don't look into too much and everything because you're gonna forget your goal or whatever it could be. Not saying you are, just saying you know. But also, I'm also getting when you're not allowing others or things to go into your boat into your space and your time you're checking yourself you're checking up you know you're checking the whole check and everything else like you know you know everything's good so you can move on and you can move forward to whatever that is and having a check at a reality check it's just like embracing that oh I'm, i know oh yeah i know what i don't want yeah i know what i do want and i know what i love so that comes from you know, like i said going back to the beginning you're going through stuff you've been releasing you've been hesitating but you've been now trying to push forward by having to find resolution in your future for your future within the presence okay present perception uh perception is the other card that came out the last card only card right so let's get into that perception what does perception is means Perception. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, boom, boom, boom. All right. The quote. Oh, mine. Abandon the perception of diversity and realize the unreality of your own independence from the infinite consciousness. This is liberation. This is by Swami Vanahashkananada Vahasatis. Vahasatis. No. Vahasatis. Yoga. Sorry. Imagine yourself walking with a friend in a beautiful luscious park and coming across a captivating tree. Tree. You might think, what a marvelous tree filled with a vast array of colors. Meanwhile, your friend finds it unremarkable and comments on its scrawny branches and lackluster shades. The truth is that the tree is neither marvelous nor lackluster. It is just what it is. In that state of being, it is perfect in itself, yet we project... Uh, uh, yet we yeah, project our own perceptives onto what we think it is. We tend to do this every day with everything, we, every encounter and every point and every moment. As our judgment casts as a mirage, mirage onto the image we process with our vision and, and the inner landscape. When you pull the perception card, it's, it is important to notice that how you may be doing this with the current situation you're facing. How you're, how can you alter the way you're thinking at what's in front of you? Whatever difficult trans transition, challenge, or moment you're experiencing, you need to say, "I'm willing to see the different. I'm willing to see this differently." You can use without force. Open your mind and see the shifts in perception, and it may occur. Um, when you recalibrate your focus, perception is not a reality, but rather our projection onto a reality. I like that. Perception is not a reality, but rather our projection into reality, right? So, the real one's on. Okay, is projecting, uh, perception is not a reality, but rather a projection in, onto reality. Yeah, so, got it. See, I had to read it four or five times. But we are projecting reality doesn't mean it's a reality that it is what it is. Uh, Reality is our projections. That's what I said. Okay, we're projecting onto our reality. So we're projecting on what we see because what we see, what we hear, what we smell, not what everybody else is seeing, smell, and taste. Okay, so that means if there's a there's something that's confronting you, and you're like, oh, this is solely whack. Oh, this is out of touch. Oh, this is this that person. It's like, what is it that you need to see? Maybe the reality check is that you facing the facing the you're not facing the truth. You're not facing the 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 cause the, the cause and effect of what your behavior is or how you speak to yourself or how you manage to um you know talk to yourself and, and talk to others and how do you even manage time how do you manage everything if you think about every little thing about what people said and what people had did and what people had done and what they mean but this is saying trust the universe by learning what you can deal with and how you can deal with it learning how to stay focused and that perception is focused on your perceptions at the 
this time, right? What you what you've been seeing, what you've been getting is what you've been getting, what you've been seeing. So you know, whatever that could be uh, for you, air signs. You know, I have too many cards right here. It's like why? If you don't know me, you know, I have a lot of cards here. It's like, why? Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay. I'm a, I don't know what's going on with me today. It's a good thing, not a bad thing. It's taking me years to get my cards, like my tarot. Is that everything stacked up up here? Stacked up. I didn't put anything away yet. I have like two, four, six, seven, eight. I have like eight cards that has not been put away. Eight cards. Eight card decks. Okay. I need to put them away. Because I have some new card decks that I'm gonna showcase. So, check it out. Check, check it out. Just to see, somebody is trying to come back to you. Maybe the, <laughs> that rekindle. Hey, the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, hey, how you doing? I love you. Mwah, kiss, kisses. And you're like, um, and I, and I see something. I see something, right? Your projection can be real. Oh, it fell out too. So, I'm going to take it. It fell out. I'm going to take it. The Ten of Cups didn't fall out, but let's see. Mm. Oh no, it's upright. Yes, this king of swords. Yeah. Okay, so the king of swords in the justice card. Now it came up right for the justice, and then you have dropped and it fell, sorry, on the table, and I picked it up and it was reversed. Ten of Cups came out again. Nine of Cups came out again. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, the Empress. You know, you might feel like this person has not shown you the love that you wanted. And your perception of it has been, you know, been unseen. You, you can't unsee it. You see it, but now you have to face it. Um, Gemini's Aquarius is in Libra. So this could be the job, right? A person you're still lost. Giving you so many like recommendations on uh, the quality of your of your work and your know, fulfillment, the joy it keeps coming out. Um, but it's like it's not enough because you like, and you're probably like on offensive things. Like, right? do you want to pursue? You know, and it, and it, I feel like it's upright. So it's supposed to be upright. You're supposed to pursue it. You're gonna pursue on taking this chance to move forward though it's hard you know because remember the boat it's like when you're on the boat before you go on the boat you know it's gonna be a little rocky a little bit um but when you start not even that when you start even moving that boat it gets a little hard it takes a lot of pr it's a lot of pressure that discipline but you can say you know what i got it. i got it you know it's, i'm gonna handle it with the best way i can and i you know you're gonna you want to handle it it's gonna be um undeniable right but you're facing with the with the matter of fact i could <laughs> right so and the nine of cups is coming up so it's a good thing i feel like you are your wish fulfillment is around the corner your 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 emotions about whatever this could take could be it's like oh i'm 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 seeing where my I'm seeing where my I'm supposed to do I'm I'm knowing what I'm supposed to do and I, maybe you are sharing this to others too like you're giving out a speech you're giving out a a particular um you know a positive um uh, positivity around your community your kids this gives you fulfilling other people's cups because they fulfill yours like I said that um four of wands embracing the challenges but getting through the um i don't like bias it's all crooked i'm so sorry um it sounds like i need to read and i can't read if it's so, so crooked i'm so sorry i'm just like ready Ugh. i want to see okay yeah this is why because this is like a little bit Ugh. come on now There we go. There we go. There we go. 
No, bring this down a little bit. Yeah, okay, good. Let's see it. Yeah, so you have releasing moon side. Yeah, because you have the Jessos card. You're releasing this. You know, like it's, I mean, I'm not a lot releasing something. Being able to be on the fence of things is hard because you don't know exactly where you're going. Maybe you don't know what what where, where you're heading at, or heading to. I mean, you know what you want, but you don't know. Like your guidance is like, Ugh, if I take this chance, am I gonna get there? Right? You are, and I think that you're embracing that, and that's where the abundance come in. Like, okay, we start making that move, making that jump, uh, making that confidence. You know, cleansing your self esteem, cleansing it. Right? And you start fueling um, your abundance. Perception came out with a take a reality check and love it's like you know when you had the four wands it's like okay your perception of love what it look like well now you're moving on to the past of okay the past moving on from the past moving on from the you know the karma the karmic cycles that you no longer see yourself um doing you know this person that wants you back literally feel like they have lost you you know i've been lost you know and can you find me you know love has been found too maybe you haven't found love found it love is been you know is looking for you um the enjoyment in that is that you're not going to be alone right the crush the life that you're looking for but you gotta be the person that wants to do you know wants to find that, that person right but someone's crushing on you hard or you know they have made like made a few mistakes in their past they are they are the emperor you know they they are they go get it like you so you know maybe this is you so that's a good idea it's a good set right uh, give me some more cards, please, for the trust in the universe and focus. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful cards. Like, the high priestess came out upright. You have the moon. You have the... The moon, the six of swords. Oh, sorry. Seven of swords. The death card, the two of cups, yeah, it's perfect. I'm sorry, I'm just like in this, the heat is on, so I'm like, I'm tired. But you have a lot of good cards. This is one set of cards. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, I could do this. You're moving past something. You're moving on. Like the secrets, it could be a Pisces or a, can um, a or Cancer or a Scorpio. Pisces or Scorpio that has been holding out from you. I have wanted to come out from the darkness and show you, uh, you know, maybe show you something, tell you something. You know, when someone wants to show you something, it's like they want to express, uh, you know, their feelings or their movement. So while they did this, and what, what's the behind it? What's, what's the motives behind it? And you start seeing the motives behind someone else's. Um, you know, you start see, you start seeing their motives. You start seeing that there's a sign that this person will never change. This person will ever be the same. This person is going to be, um, you know, a little bit of a... I mean, opposites do attract, but then you see, like, there's two opposites. There's so much opposites that you have to, you know, for, forge ahead. And that even comes to a time, like, you have to, like, lose, sorry, lose um, some sleep or maybe lose out on some, um, you know, it might feel like you lost out on opportunities, but it's not a loss. You're actually going to be commended by that. You're going to be actually celebrated by that. And that could be friends, family, and, you know, in December where you start seeing um, the abundance, you start sharing the abundance, you start sharing that, you know, quality time for one another. This is you, your person, this could be even your new job, a job, whatever career, that start seeing that, you know, leave, leaving the God, leaving the, the child's behaviors. Like you maybe left that, you know, by saying, you know what, speaking kind to yourself. No, I shouldn't be stepping down to their level i'm stepping up to my level and they have to just you know come get me if they want me but that's a good sign i like it um gemini is aquarius and in, um aquarius is in libras all right let's do some angel angel cards i think i'm done with this you have 10 11 take action fresh start hope um you have oh I like that. This is a card to call action to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you accomplish what you're looking to do. Move forward. Take action. Let's go. Let's take chapel. A chapel. I don't know why I said a chapel, but if you, <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but if you might be, um, you know, a descendant of that. I hope not, but it descended me like 
reckless behavior and then might be descendants of reckless behavior you know what i'm saying like um i'm not saying descendants of reckless behavior mean like you know you're a bad person but if you're doing this just you know you're doing these things that it's gonna hurt others yes so i mean don't no don't do that um but there are people that have descendants of bad people too and they family so guess what you're not the only one but if you don't want to remake that cycle you're gonna have to take a cycle you gotta have you will have to take a a physical action to bring something new into your life and it's gonna come so i feel like you're not waiting it's gonna come anyway there's a spiritual awakening um one zero zero one new beginnings everything is new beginnings new beginnings you're going to the right direction don't worry about it you're going towards the right direction in your life you're um in this positive suit uh so continue on doing positive things um air signs Gemini's Aquarius and Libras Oh gosh, last one is four four four. I love it. Protection. Your your path is already protected in the month of January. I mean January too and December. Uh so I had you know, did not do the reading for January yet. I should do it. I'm gonna do it early before christmas week but um yeah you have full full protection god's with you you have guidance you have rebellion rebellious rebelliousness change justice truth character love you know you think about like i said good news uh get ready for good news is hoping you know you're you were born for a high, higher calling your energy everyone's wanting you needing you wanting you to do stuff daring you to do stuff like go ahead do it girl do it uh, you got this like that's exactly what spirit is doing behind closed doors like they they turn on for you and they want you to be the best person you can be so i see it i mean the month of january january too the month of December, you can't do no wrong. And make sure that you're not pivoting off of, oh my God, I can't make mistakes because I said I said that you're not making mistakes. You will start seeing things that you have done and you probably close to, but you're going to be like, oh, check, I'm checking myself. Oh, I got this. Oh, I'm not going to do it. So it's kind of like, you know, learn. Yes, I like it. You can't heal a wound by saving its Oh, sorry. You can't heal a wound by saying it's not there. Some injuries can really just take a walk, a walk off. But too many of us run around treating emotional compound, compound fractures like a stubble pinky toe. They ain't the same thing, love. If you ignore the big ouches, they fester and get the grain, the grain year, the grain green, the grain green, and gives us permanent lip, limps and shit. Do you have a big ouch that needs tending? Naming it is the first step in healing it. Maybe your wounds needs professional help. Do you need a, a green green amputation thing? Like that's so 2016. Like cutting out, cutting out whatever is stinky, cutting out all the things that no longer is, um, you know, is supporting you, pushing you, right? Last one, guess who ain't got to explain shit to nobody? You. Quit trying to explain yourself to everyone. No one has to understand your brand of cuckoo. You got to you gotta own your shit, okay? Get get on your freaky little self, you little freaky little F. So, yes, you get on yourself, little freaky efforts. You know what needs to know exactly, you know, take take everything with a grain of salt, take everything with a grain of pepper, I don't know what you want to say, how you want to say it, but release whatever that, you know, constraint is. And people don't have to know exactly why you did this, you who did this, because at the end of the day, you're doing you. And that means that if that has to be proven by you doing the work by, by yourself, alone, or even, you know, with a pe person, a, a person, place, a thing, you'll be okay. Money looking okay. I don't have any money, um... Let me see. Maybe I could do money. I don't, I, don't, I don't really do, like, cut up. I don't know. It's telling me to do money. I don't cut up my, what you call it, my readings, like, finances, stuff like that. I don't do that. I don't think I should, but I guess. Let's do it. Because Spare is telling me to do finances for my, for my ear signs. The sun card. Oh, look at this pretty. Look at this card. Woo! Ten of... Listen, I'm done. Ten, the sun, money, abundance. I don't have to explain this. Like, air signs. I cut the deck. It's there. Okay. Do I have to do it? Do I have to do it for y'all? Spirit saying, cut the check. Look, you don't have to be bothered with the gossip because people can talk all they want to talk about and you're sweat. You're not even around it. It won't even phase you. 
oh yeah see on your high priestess again you know learning high learning giving no two no fucks okay pressing pressing the pressing the pressure point you know let people know who the hell you are up in this biz you know it's it's time is good time is good for y'all i love it i love it air signs you're the best person you can be you know cutting it cutting it out you see not getting no you know what i'm saying not getting any headaches yeah, I had a headache, but I mean, getting headaches. I mean, like your problems not getting headaches. You getting, you taking sleeps. Your sleep is getting. Pfft. Look, say what you want. Say what you want. Three of Pentacles, counting that check. You know, connecting with others. Connecting with others about that money, that deal. They're looking at you. They like looking at you, ass eyes. Like what's up? You know, and this could be. The person that doesn't want you to get it, but you want to get it. You know, your money, my money funny, honey. Hey, right, give me some uh, some cards for my uh, air signs for the month of December for money, for finances, please. What does my air sign have to know? For money, please. What is my air judgment again money finances i don't have to do anymore do i have to do anymore you have the six so the six of swords upright the emperor reverse the judgment upright you have the six of wands reverse king of cups upright ace of wands and then you have the Eight of Cups upright for money. Overall, you do have to sacrifice something. You have to move on from something. You, there's a person that's looking your way and wanting you to, um, you know, take this um, this journey. Uh, this could be traveling far, you know, this person is leaving this cup doesn't mean that they're mad that they left it. They just finished that. They completed something. So you completed something. The judgment card is here. It's been completed. You've been done. The Emperor and the um, Six of Swords um, basically says that whenever you feel or felt like in the past that it wasn't working for you, person place thing and this even yourself you didn't see that this person has the same capacity as you of 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 growth or that could be just whatever there's a judgment coming for this person there's a judgment for you um and i like one thing i could say is confusing because if you're going to move on this is the six of wands you know you're not I feel like you're cutting messages so you're cutting off the messages you're cutting off the um You're cutting off the past. You know, you're trying to say, you know what? I, I've done it. I've been there before. I no longer need to be there. I'm looking at my notes on the, on the board. So, um, yeah. You're cutting from the, like, you know, you're cutting out the things that no, doesn't need to be there. And that could be just be, like, getting up from, you know, not getting up early and not getting up early. So, stuff like that. You're changing yourself. And the change is good, you know. Um, it, it's a lot of the times I feel like you are looking at things emotionally for with like what are you looking towards like you're looking at everything like emotionally um i say emotionally but i say like you're looking at yourself as if things doesn't if, if things doesn't connect to you the emotional way then you just walk away basically if things doesn't come to you right so that's what i'm saying so that's good like you're now figuring out like things have to really mesh together by this and this and that and somebody's going to come to you approach to you something and this could be the past this could be related. I'm, I'm getting love this could be a person coming from from back from the past and they have a rude awakening get your stick out of here you telling them no tell them to back the fuck up where, where you where you going and, and why you know <laughs> Give me some money, please. Some money cards for uh for next for for this year, December. 
for this year for December. <laughs> for December, please, for my air signs. Some money tarot cards, please. Messages. Yeah. That came out. Yeah. This is all about love. Okay, give me some more um cards for money. Money. The two of wands, the seven of wands, and the hangman. Yeah. You got to fight for what you want uh, for your career, uh, air signs. You can't just think that it's going to come to you. And you do have to, you know, you, you are looking at, at a, a different way, a different approach. So it's not a bad thing. The world card, the internet, the world wide web, you're indecisive about what you want to do, what you want to intake. But I feel like everything is positive. It, it's supposed to be positive. Um, I do feel that it's um, concerning matter and matter if this is going to be, you know, the way, you know, where your heart lays or your heart goes goes and i feel like it is because you're still thinking about you're still going to hang on i feel like you're, you're in between that you're gonna hang on to the i gonna stay until i'm see something that's gonna disapprove me or i'm gonna stay until i figure out a plan and that's gonna hit it's not it's not gonna hinder you it's gonna actually make you work so you're working hard you're working the move so you're not thinking while you're staying or sitting and relaxing you're actually doing the job so that's a good that's sign so there's a job there yes it is a job there is it work there yes is money there for you yes it's more about how you're going to attain it and maintain it okay all right thank you air signs for the air signs okay once again my gemini's aquarius and libras thank you for watching this is for you in the month of december See you later.